Welcome back. It's still uh, TV3 New Day, and we're going back to the KNUSD SHS, where a student unfortunately passed yesterday. At least there has been some investigation that has started, according to the Ghana Education Service. They released a statement yesterday also interdicting the headmistress of the school, who was alleged to have refused to carry the student in her car to the hospital. According to them, they are investigating and so for now, they've asked the headmistress to step aside for the regional director of education, Ashanti, to take over the administration of the school. And so we're crossing over to Ibrahim Abubakar, who's gone back to the school, KNUSC SHS, to find out if calm has been restored. Good morning, Ibrahim. Good morning, Bella. All right. So um, we're back to you and we want to find out. So yesterday you were there waiting for um, you know, the meeting between the Ghana Education Service Secretaries and also uh, the authorities of the school to end. Apart from the statement that has come out saying that the headmistress has been interdicted and as a result has been asked to step aside, do you have any further information? Well, um, for now we are waiting. Yesterday after the meeting, the GS director interacted with the students separately from the management and they raised some concerns and she wants to address it. Their concerns are three. One has to do with um, they complain that whenever someone is not feeling well, the agency by both teachers and management to attend to the person is very, very low and it's not encouraging at all. Mm. And secondly, they added that um, they used to have suggestion boards dotted across so that um, if any student has an issue uh, with regards to any teacher or administration work, you can just write it, drop it in the suggestion boards, because some of them want to remain anonymous, but these suggestion boxes are no more there. So she has directed that um, from today, those suggestion boxes should be placed at vantage point so that the students will um, put in their grievances. Just okay. this morning, for the regional director of education, you know, she has taken over. Mm -hmm. She's now in charge after the interdiction of the Headmistress. So she just came to the school this morning. I interacted with her and she told me that um, they will be forming or they will be constituting the committee to investigate the cause of the death of the final year students today. Okay. And the committee will be given on Monday and they will be given two weeks to submit their report. But as it stands now, um, as you can see from the background, CAM has been restored. Academic work has also begun. I came here around 6 a.m. I went around and I saw some of them in the dining hall. Yesterday, they boycotted their breakfast because mm. of what was happening. This morning, I realized that they were there eating. Some were also cleaning the environment. And exactly at 7.30, they all went to the various classrooms and started um, classes. But okay. I think they have given a brief break. So. Uh, most of them have started coming out. But all in all, um, everything. Um, I came here and I was even surprised that it is the same place that we came yesterday. Mm -hmm. Everything is under control. But I can still see a number of police personnel around. I saw five of them. They are moving um, about at least to ensure that nothing untoward happened. Okay. Again. So the situation. It's very calm here. Have, you, have yeah. you been able to interact with any of the students to find out how they feel about the decision made by the Ghana Education Service? Well, I, I, I spoke with a couple of them and it was a mixed reaction, but I would say a majority of them were satisfied with the directive that the headmistress should step aside because okay. yesterday when them most of them were calling for a head. And some even told me that even they, even though yesterday they agreed that academic work will resume today, if that decision had not come, if the headmistress um, still remains at post, that would have been difficult because some of the boys were still planning to boycott classes. Mm. But when that decision came, um, I think all of them are now satisfied with that and they have returned to the various classrooms. Okay. 
All right, then on that note, we'll call you again later and see if anything has come up. But thank you so much, Ibrahim Abubakar, for speaking to us. He is uh, a Shanti regional correspondent and he's currently at the KNUSD SHS where a student unfortunately passed. We don't have any confirmation as to whether this student passed uh, from COVID-19 or from ulcer, as has been purported by some of the students. And so we'll hold on and wait for the authorities and the Ghana Health Service to confirm that. But